What's goody all my people out there at the tube of the U? This is Hookah TV and Wade on Hookah. I'm Wade. I'm Hookah. I'm on. <laughs> I'm Wade on Hookah. I'm Wade on Hookah. <laughs> Alright guys, today we are reviewing a dark blend trifecta flavor called Air Fix. <laughs> Guess what? Air I'm... Fix! That was a little dangerous for fun. <laughs> What's going on everybody? I'm here with Hookah Chef. Hookah Dash Chef. Hookah Dash Chef. Fuck y'all. Wait on a hookah. The smoker pass. And guess what we're reviewing today? something dark. And leafy. It's, it's something actually, blendsy. It's actually good. It's me. They're both gonna review me right now. 10 out of 10. The flavor's alright. It's longevity. Longevity's not always there sometimes. Okay, so in the real dark blend trifecta perfect, it is going in the failing bowl with the Starbuzz XL Challenger. It's an XS. XS. My bad, I don't have one of these. I'll show you the Jumbo Starbucks. Instead of me tall. Okay, so Wade has had this uh, flavor longer than the rest of us, so we shall let him start. This is God tier. Fuck what he says, this is God tier. So if you've ever, like, just stuck your dick in a pear, this oh is, like, God. what you've got. It's fantastic, just like. This is this is a dark and like it's got those tobacco notes with a nice natural and ripe pear. It's a bright green. It's crisp. Yeah, and it's a little wet because you know it's wet. It's wet and lit. Lit. All right, so what we're getting to? So are we packing? Yeah. I think I did not a video maybe with someone packing it. Okay, so you saw you saw me packing it earlier. Uh, Trifecta has seemed to be the most versatile brand, in my opinion, on packing styles. You can do dense, you can do fluffy, you can do semi-dense, and everywhere in between, and it smokes amazing, realistically. This is actually dense packed, just like Tangiers, and it's ripping. Because it's in the failure. There's like 12 grams in here. 12. I'm pretty sure there's like 9. It's going to be a it's push crazy. to get this to be a second round bowl, but this is going to be that bowl that you have, so we can get to this in the review, but... I think this is that like the lunch break bowl. This oh, man, no it's, my, it's my breakfast bowl. There you go. Boop. And it's actually smoking amazing. Uh, I mentioned earlier to them that I haven't, I'm not really the biggest Perfect fan, Dark Blend and the Blonde Line fan, but I found out that I really mainly smoked, smoked it with uh, heat management devices. And this is my first time using foil, and I actually like it a lot more, surprisingly enough. And I actually enjoy it and smoke it again. What, what do you think makes you like it more? 
because it um, has tobacco notes come out more. It does. It, I like the blend of tobacco notes in it because you get that sweet crispness with that earthy tobacco flavor, and it's really nice. It's uh, it's really similar to how the blend of uh, pulp friction and the tobacco notes mixed with the bright citrus notes mixed together. It's yeah. just like that with the crisp pear flavor. It's like a nice ebony vibe. So this is the first time I've ever smoked Perfect, and I'm gonna take a puff. The clouds on the dark blend are really good. Um, the thing about dark blend that I like most is it adds a complexity and an earthiness to every flavor that's made in a dark blend tobacco. I mean, would you all agree with that? Absolutely. It just adds more of a depth, more of a, a palatable, palatable experience, a pal palatable yeah. experience. Um, so yeah, hold on, let's see what the clouds look like on this. Something we were talking about last night was just, you know, the difference, and this happens with a lot of different uh, tobacco brands, is that when you're using it with tinfoil or a uh, heat management device, that's when you're going to get those different flavors. So even someone, just like Christian was just saying, someone that uses like a heat management device a lot, uh, just go back to some of your favorite flavors that you've only smoked on a heat management device and just toss them on foil. I mean, even when they go to test these flavors, they're not using it on any other fancy heat management devices. It's not everyone has one. Yeah, they're putting it on foil because that's the what Standard. everyone has. And everyone or they smoke it like Zalul. Exactly. Without foil, with coals on the tobacco. Exactly. Don't Ooh. do that. Don't. You can't. So I will say though, I'm going to tell you right now that one, the clouds are great. Two, the flavor on this, um, I've had the perfect and standard line, and it had a bit of a bitterness a little bit, and I think that was a standard, that's a standard pear experience, but this might be the smoothest pear flavor I've smoked. Um, it tastes, literally it tastes like a fucking pear, um, which is pretty rad. Not many people can like truly um, get that flavor across, just like apple's a very hard flavor to get across as well. Um, so yeah, what do you think about the basically longevity of this tobacco? It'll last. Like I, you can pack it like something deep, like a harmony. Just that's all you need. Just smoke it all day. Just you're fine. That's it. I think the longest I've gotten out of a dark blend bowl is probably about three and a half hours. Now, probably like four little. rounds, five rounds of bowls. Yeah, it doesn't. And that was a harmony. Obviously, like we're using the Phalian right here, and that's about a 45 minute, hour and a half session bowl, and we load the heat on, so ours does cash out a bit quicker. Stone bowls for me when it comes to the dark blends. I mean, any type of bowl, but lately that's what I've been using, it's just a small bowl. Um, but yeah, I'm not someone that really smokes for a very long time on just a single flavor. <clears throat> but I at least know with the dark blends I can go to that extra step if I want to. Even at work when I'm smoking, I can just take the coals off and come back and put the coals on. The flavor, the flavor doesn't die either. It's like full, in bo full body, in your face flavor the entire time. Something that I would like to add to that is the fact that the trifecta dark blend tobacco works in shallow bowls with heat, shallow bowls with low heat, deep bowls with high heat, deep bowls, bowls with low heat, foil, and heat management across the spectrum. Um, very rarely, it's basically like, you can, how, whatever your setup is, it's gonna work. And you can get a solid experience out of the Trifecta Dark Line. There are even like different ways you can pack it and it'll still perform well. The best I found is like a slightly denser pack, like not quite like Tangier's level, you know what I mean? But like, hey, Christian wants the hoop. That can be. That can That's coming in there, guys. I'm going to Bigger guns. Sean, wait, what would be your final review, bro? Oh, wait, I have a Oh, oh, fun. Oh, oh, you can pack, so you can pack Trifecta to Dark Blend basically however you like. Like, I fluff packed it the hell out of it, it's about fine. I prefer, like, not quite like a Tangier's level dense pack, but like a s slightly denser than semi dense, maybe. That's what I found is the absolute best. Like, just like, smidge under the rim. Just like, I'll throw some B roll right now. You can see some Christian, some beautiful Christian hands packed in that dark blend. Yeah, I pack mine pretty dense. And actually, I, I overpack everything um, dense and high. I just fill it up. Fill a bowl up. If, if yeah. the lotus touches, yeah, sweet. Easy. If the foil touches, sweet. This because is... you can pack shitty, and yeah. if you manage your heat right, you totally. can still get a good experience. And, and one thing to say um, for some people, because there's still people exploring different brands, Trifecta is going to be, you know, a darkly bent brand, so you're going to have more of a buzz. Um, for me, I definitely don't get a buzz from Trifecta, um, but that's just from a lot of smoking. 
and cheers to the stuff that's meant to, to just the high name team films. Um, I'm not really getting any buzz, and it's not something that I would even expect um, to see, but someone, if you just picking this up, if you're not used to that, it's just something to think about when it comes to packing it. But I think, uh, just like you were saying before, just the versatility that you have with being able to pack it just a little bit lighter, it's not going to be that big buzz in your face, but if you actually want to feel something, you can definitely go with kind of a Christian pack, where you're going to put things back just a little bit tighter. And obviously the higher the heat and the higher your tobacco, the more buzz factor you will get because you are releasing more things out of the tobacco. So if you were going to give this a final review, wait on Luca, what would you give it? On a scale of Fletcher's beard to Sean's beard, I would put it at Gandalf. But what if you like short beards? What if it's a person that likes a clean shave? Then they can kill themselves. Fair enough. Science. <laughs> Science. So, Stukes, what would be your final? <laughs> um, as a lover of pairs, shit like that. Pairs of jeans or pairs of shoes? Pairs of fruits. So, like apples and oranges? No apples, unfortunately. <laughs> He's allergic to apples. He had to bring that up. 20 some odd years to figure out. Not figure out, it just happens. Adulting. It's, it's stupid. Cool. Okay. So literally, so on. Okay, yeah, so going back to this. Okay, being a pair of uh, being a pan. What's that? Being a pair of fans. Being a pair of fans. Of pairs. Social smoke, pair chill was my go-to pair. And now being able to have this. Actually, I, I was definitely a fan of the original cut of this because it was it had a spice to it. Yeah, yeah, and going to like the social smoke, which I was smoking originally is where I would go to get that really sweet, like candy candy. Yeah, candy. Yeah. Almost like green apple pear. Yeah. And this is just like a nice spice to pear. But also being someone that really likes the dark ones, this is actually my first time having it in the dark one. So right. we had in the lounge and perfect. The lounge being you can meal. Yes. Um, yeah, I love this. It's cool, great. cool. Um on a scale of kicking a trailer. On a scale of kicking a trailer hitch on the back of a truck while walking behind it at night to hanging out with some of your best friends in Knoxville, Tennessee for a weekend. This is like being on the casting couch with three of your best friends in the whole world in Knoxville, Tennessee while reviewing hair Naked. Naked. <laughs> like, I just had to check. Should happen to Knoxville. Check in the cash. Um, good to go. Um, <laughs> so yeah. So, who could dash chef? Hey. I like it to do a scale. I don't normally do scales. Uh, on a scale of letting others judge you on how you live your lifestyle and feeding into it, to smoking whatever the fuck you want to smoke, I rate it a tiny. A tiny what? A tiny, tiny. <laughs> tiny is not tiny. Tiny is not tiny. You'll see tiny. Um, so yeah, thanks for having us on your channel, Wade. I'm sure we can all reflect the appreciation. This is tiny, by the way. Not tiny. Not tiny. Um, I mean, everyone's going to probably happen? reflect the sentiment of thank you. Thank you for coming to Knoxville. Thanks for being here with us. Thanks for having me. Um, thanks for letting us city. smoke your perfect. Thanks, Trifa. Thank thanks you. for watching. Ah, Thanks for watching. Wait on a hookah tube of the UT.TV and beyond. Pass and maybe smoke while being a chef. This is my dad just gonna let everybody know that. Oh, yes, this is. Don't talk to him or he's not here. Hey, and as they say on Smoker Pass. As always, smoke, love, peace. <laughs> What's going on, guys? You just got to watch a beautiful review done by myself, Hookah Dash Chef, Fletcher Knoxville, and Smoke Pat, some of my absolute favorite people in the industry. I get the chance to go down and meet with them over the weekend at Hookah and Beyond, a beautiful lounge run by the beautiful Adam Rice. And it was a truly awesome experience. I just want to thank all three of them, for Count Adam, for letting me come down and hang out, and for treating me like I'm truly family. For those of you who don't know, Hookah Chef is actually the one who got me into reviewing. I started watching his reviews a year or so ago, and that's what got me into it. Uh, from then on, it was a deep and dark spiral into where I found Sean, and Sean has my favorite review style. Um, I kind of model mine after his, as well as some others in the industry. 
Uh, Fletcher, super awesome guy, super fun to hang out with. He was kind and hospitable enough to show me around town. But yeah, I just wanted to thank those guys. It was a truly amazing experience. It was probably one of the best weekends of my life. Can't wait to come down again and see you guys soon. But with that, I hope you guys enjoyed the review. It was a little long, but we were having a little fun with it. So without, that, without further ado, here's a word from our sponsor. Smoke whatever the fuck you want to smoke. Yeah, it's good. It's good. Cool. Yeah, I heard my chest a little bit. God. I'm not gonna lie. God.